Good day. Welcome to King Warmers Everything. We got us a Space Invaders TV console from Radica. And it's a very nice little handheld. And I'm not sure what year this came out. I got this for a couple bucks. I thought it would be kind of interesting to play. And so I knew nothing about it but other than it is Space Invaders. But it has an awful lot of buttons for Space Invaders. And it's got a menu button and a recess to reset button. And you can do 6 volt DC if you've got a power supply. And on off switch over here. And that's it. But this has five games, I believe. I think there's Space Invaders, of course. Lunar Rescue, kind of when you got the little lunar lander, you got to land. Uh, Colony 7, I'm kind of thinking that's more of a. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe that one other than um, it's almost you have to like protect your. Uh, your little cities, one of those type games. And Kicks or Quicks. We also always called it Quicks. Q I X, but I think it's Kicks. Where you draw little squares around from the arcade. And then Phoenix, so another kind of Space Invaders type game. That's actually pretty good. It's not as good as Galaga or Galaxian, but I think it's pretty good. It's got the the uh the instead of like aliens it's got birds and they kinda of flap their wings and stuff like that. It's a pretty good game. And I'm going to give these guys a test, so I'm kind of curious what the buttons do. I know the menu does, gets you in the menu. And there is an A and B buttons, but I think all these games had either, uh, I think Kicks had no buttons, and the other guys just had one button. So not sure where all the buttons are, but we're going to play it. We're going to try this out and play it. So let me get the TV out, we're going to plug it in, and we're going to take a peek at Space Invaders from Radica. Okay, we are back. I thought we would turn this fellow on, take a peek at it. Let's turn it on. Let's see, this is Radica. And so you can see we got Space Invaders, Luna Rescue, Colony 7, Kicks, and Phoenix. So we're going to go through each one of these really quick and give them a stab. Let's try Space Invaders. Let's play it. See, they try to follow you around and shoot you, so they're pretty good at targeting you. And, of course, I'm not the best at Space Invaders. I haven't played this in quite a long time. And that's a fun game. Nice, simple. Anybody can play it. do uh, target right on you. You definitely can't sit still. Okay, let's go back to the menu, play Lunar Rescue. Press the button. comes out, and away we go. Then we have to get back up to the ship. Of course, we can shoot those fellows. Whoa! And let me in, baby. Let me in. I saved one guy. Guy. Oh, not a lot of sound effects on this get on this one, but Let's see. oops. All right, guess I'm not doing too good here. Comes my little guy. 
this gives you the opportunity to shoot, so that's kind of cool. Kind of, whoa, whoa, come back here, baby. Whoa! Oh, overshot. Game over. Let's try Colony 7. This one's kind of, I don't know, it always reminds me of kind of like a, almost a missile command. Does that kind of feel? It's very difficult to play with the joystick. I think this would be more of a trackball game, but kind of lines it up for you. You can kind of see they're trying to make it through your shield. I don't know what this guy's doing. It's got a very clicky joystick. Still a lot of fun. Let's go back to the main menu, get the idea. Kicks. I remember playing this in the arcade, it was a lot of fun. I don't know why, but basically you're just going to be drawing squares to kind of block that little fellow in. And there's that little guy that kind of follows your line that tries to get you. Gotta watch out for him. Got me. Got me. Oh, he got me again. Okay, game over. Get the idea. Kicks. Let's go to main menu. Phoenix. This is one of the really good games. It's got basically Galaga, Galaxian, uh, but kind of with a bird. That's kind of fun. They had a lot of neat, uh, le neat levels on here, too. Third level is the one. There's kind of a kind of a cool pattern. The first two levels are pretty easy. I think the third level gets pretty hard. Oh, he got me. Invaders handheld from Radica. If you find one of these somewhere, pick it up. It's kind of interesting. Um, I kind of like collecting these. I don't know why. I think the just it's kind of silly, uh, but the games are actually kind of fun. You know, this is more of a good party game because you don't have to hook up a Xbox. You can take this with you and plug it in TV, and people can play against each other. You know, each take a turn see who gets the higher score. Uh, it's got some decent games on it: Space Invaders, Lunar Rescue, Colony Kicks, and Phoenix. I think Phoenix kicks probably people will enjoy. The other two, you know, so-so. Space Invaders definitely, but Phoenix, I think it's that's it's worth it for that. I think they kind of want to put some information on here. That's what that is. But I guess if you, when you bought this new, you probably knew. Um, but uh, nice little console. Like, like I said, I paid a couple bucks for this, so I'm going to put this with the collection. And it's kind of fun to pull it out every couple of years, play it, and just uh, uh, just to get some of the, the, the old school games. Especially if people have, people have never seen these, you can just plug it in and let them play. It's, these are all simple enough that they're uh, uh, 
you know, you can pretty much pick it up just by tinkering for a second or two. So there you go. Space Invaders Arcade Legends. And you have a great day.